You know my love for the Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlighters and my curiosity kick in. So I have to give them a try, review, and just test them and see what are the difference between my OG and the new Westman Atelier Liquid Super Loaded Highlighters. One, if not my favorite product from Westman Atelier, are the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighters, which I have raved about these highlighters for so long, for years now. They have appeared on favorites video. In fact, I do even have a review with swatches of all the shades, including the limited edition shade for the Sante too. I mean, these are perhaps my favorite highlighter on my entire collection i know that's to say a lot and not too long ago perhaps just like well when i'm recording this video it was perhaps like three or four days ago at the most westman atelier just launched her new liquid super loaded which are kind of like a liquid version of the super loaded tinted highlighters, but a little bit more chameleonic because you can use them by themselves and kind of give that perfect glow to your skin. You can also use it as a primer, mix it with your foundation, and you can also use them to highlight the highest points of your face. They come in three different shades, which are the original shades of the super loaded tinted highlighters, which are Peau de Rosé, Peau de Peche, and Peau de Soleil. So I couldn't resist myself. I bought them all. They are made in Italy. They have a shelf life of 12 months. They come with one fluid ounce. The first ingredient is squalane, kind of like the liquid foundation <laughs> um yeah it kind of like reminds me a little bit of that and you know what one fluid ounce or 30 ml is the typical amount that you get for any foundation but these are packed so compact ideal for traveling so let's go ahead and take a peek at the bottle i mean super cute super sleek just as we expect from gucci westman look at this black beautiful we're gonna go ahead and swatch it try them in different ways all over the face and there are a couple coins from this product too that i want to touch base right here it says that it's a concentrated blend of vitamin c antioxidants and nourishing oils to retexturize even tone and brightening skin over time so it does have skincare ingredients that it seems like it will benefit at the long run wear it on its own layer under foundation we already touched base on that and it's also described as a lightweight sheer complexion enhancer that adds life to your skin in an instant okay multi-dimensional pearls reflect light for a you look well glow while letting through a skin show through for a uniquely real finish. As far as key ingredients, avocado seed oil, subaki oil, vitamin E. But then looking here at the back, it states that it does have as far as ingredient squalane. So I have here Po de Rose, and I'm just gonna shake it really well because it's liquid. And we're gonna first swatch it on gosh oh this is so exciting i'm gonna switch it here on my hand i mean i assume you don't need a whole lot oh yeah this is sheer it does have kind of like a citrusy kind of scent just gonna do a bigger swatch that's for the rosé and honestly, I don't see any shimmer or glitter particles. The next one is Peau de Peche. Now, Peau de Peche on the super loaded tinted highlighter is my favorite one, followed by Peau de Rose. Let's see, is there here? Okay, so the difference between Peau de Peche and Peau de Rose, Peau de Rose has this, I think Gucci Westman described it as a pink, an oyster pink shade, and I agree with that. While definitely for the fish, it's kind of like a nude, yeah, like a nude neutral tone. Perhaps it has a little bit of peach. Yeah, nudie peach. As you can tell, it just looks like a gloss and not really, it doesn't have a lot of like a tint wet. And then the last shade is Peau de Soleil.
Mm. This is definitely something that, you know, kind of reminds me a little to the drunk elephant um, drops to warm up your complexion, the shade. But it's a beautiful tone because it's not coppery, it's not golden, it's kind of something in between, a copper and a gold that really resembles like that heat of summertime. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited for this. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and get you closer. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Welcome to all of you, my beautiful friends. I film in natural light with there's a big window right here. So, and it's a sunny day too, which is fantastic. And now that we're closer, I have nothing on my skin. So I didn't put any primer, absolutely nothing because I really just want to see, you know, what this product will do for my face. I think the one that it will look best as a primer for my skin tone is Peau de Peche because Peau de Rose to me is more for someone that has fair skin tone. Peau de Peche seems like it will be something that it will cater for light, light, medium skin tones and perhaps medium, although medium I will start like thinking more into going to the Peau de Soleil. So again, this is Peau de Peche and I'm just, oh yeah, this is, this is nice. And it smells so good. It reminds me of lemon tarts. That's what it reminds me of, lemon tarts. Ooh, okay. That's so pretty. It's beautiful. Now, I don't feel that it even now or it color correct my skin tone as, um, I have heard it will do. I don't feel, it's just a sheer glow for the skin. It looks like you just have applied moisturizer. That's basically it. If you are wondering if it looks anything I like to, let me show you right now. Where did I put you, baby? This is something that I adore, is that Shantikai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. No, it doesn't. This, um, this has a veil of perfection that, I don't see on this one to be honest with you, although it's giving me a really nice glow without being too glowy, but it doesn't have that correction situation. But you know what? Before I judge too fast, let's go with Peau de Rose and let's see what it does on the other side of my face. Just gonna pop a little. Okay, honestly, I don't see much of a difference between one or the other one. I'm applying a little bit more Peau de Rose. Really like the shade. And the consistency is a little bit thicker. It's very interesting, but I feel that Peau de Peche is looking more natural for my skin tone, but Peau de Rose is giving me a very healthy, there's no rosy, rosy tone in it, to be honest with you, like too much, but it looks just a little tiny bit different than this one, but not by much. Honestly, putting them side by side, there's not much of a difference. Okay, friends, now let's go ahead and apply foundation for foundation i'm gonna go ahead and use my dior backstage foundation this one is the reformulated one if you want to see it in action i do have a full-on review of all the new reformulated dior products <laughs> i know because there are so many and there's even more coming i know also the luminizers are going to be reformulated i know i know that's oh that's something else right there but yeah if you want to see my review on blushes, eyeshadows, a foundation, yeah, 
go ahead and watch that video. Also, the nail polishes, they're going to be reformulated. So I'm going to be using my Sonia G Sheer Brush. This is a perfect brush if you want to do a little bit of the underpainting technique or if you want a light application of your foundation or primer products because it has this stippling, it's kind of like a stippling brush and then it has the base that you can bath. So I'm using again this Dior foundation. I will be leaving all the details of the makeup on the description box below and I'm just going to go over top lightly and see if I can see a little bit of that translucency from the way that I'm applying the foundation and the product itself. Yep, it does. And this foundation has a natural finish, the new, the formulated one. It's not as, it's not as matte as the one from previous years. Now I'm going to use again the same foundation and I know I didn't brought a little palette but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of Peau de Rose like, so like a drop just a little drop right there and I'm just going to mix it in and see how it does. This brush is amazing. Did I mention that this product from Westman Atelier is reminding, reminding me to lemon tarts? So yummy, <laughs> so good. Mmm, okay. I feel that mixing in the product it really gives us something something to the foundation that makes it look super pretty as a primer too but mixing it it makes it look not dewy but it has like a very natural glow something very ethereal and pretty oh I'm liking this a lot already my friends i went ahead and did my eyes just apply a little bit of lipstick and now let's go ahead and use peau de soleil and i'm gonna use it kind of like to bronze up my face and well this is a good opportunity too for you to see how it's setting the foundation as you can tell when i mix it in you see that beautiful glow that it has it's very pretty. This one is a little bit more lighter, more subdued. Perhaps if I was to use, the reason why I did, you may be wondering why I didn't use this uh, foundation from Westman Atelier is very sheer in a way, but also it's very, it does have a lot of escoline and I don't know, it's just a little bit tricky for me to use it. I like to mix it in with other foundations too. And when I use it alone, I use a very minimal amount, which you could play perfectly with these um, liquid highlighters. Okay, friends, so let's go with Peau de Soleil. And I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit here on my arm. This much. I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics brush, which is a little bit more of a denser brush. It's warming up my complexion, which I'm surprised of because I thought this is not going to do much for me. But again, I had it to use like, you know, a little um, dot of it to really create a warmth on my skin on this side. So I guess I will have to do the same thing for my forehead so you can see it. There you go. So it's very, very natural, which I'm pretty sure that's the outcome that Gucci Westman was looking for this product and in general Westman Atelier they they are just that very like healthy not too much makeup no makeup makeup kind of look situation I'm 
I'm gonna go next with Peau de Rose and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and I'm just gonna tap it and I'm just gonna dot it a little on the highest points of my cheeks or at least in one side And then here I have Peau de Soleil. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. And I'm just gonna tap it over here so you can see. Oh yeah, you know what? Peau, um, did I say Peau de Soleil? Sorry, it's Peau de Peche. Yes, Peau de Peche. This is the melter version of the one that we have in the little component the compact one so pretty so gorgeous now I need something on my cheek so let's go ahead and use Chouchette also from Westman Atelier I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush this is a gray 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 blush love the the blushes from Westman Atelier, they are fantastic, long wearing, easy to blend, not too glowy, just perfect. Mm, so beautiful. I know I applied the blush afterwards. Now let me go ahead and reapply the highlighter. Not that I need to, but I just want to give you a little bit of you know, this is how it will look if it's under or if it's on top. I definitely want to go again with Peau de Peche. And I'm just going to tap a little and I'm just going to put it on the highest point of my cheeks. Okay, friends, there you have it. This is the final look. I feel like this is the perfect summer makeup look. It gives me that very beautiful kind of kiss by the sun. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and you know what? Since I have you here, let me do a few comparisons. Um, first, let's go ahead and go with the super loaded tinted highlighters. Let's do Peau de Peche, this baby. And then I have here Paul de Rose. And then the last one is Paul de Soleil. Ah, if I can open it. <laughs> there you go. Paul de Soleil. These are it. Paul de Peche. Peau de Rose and Peau de Soleil. And I'm just gonna swatch it right next to them. So Peau de Rose is first. Then I have Peau de Peche in the middle. And then last I have Peau de Soleil. You know, Peau de Soleil, interesting. I think it's more gold, the one that comes in the compact. Yeah, but there are the comparisons. These are the comparisons, the swatches in general. I feel this new version, um, yeah, it's a more, I mean, it's a liquid version and therefore it's more sheer than the ones that we see on this component. These ones, uh, to me, they are very natural, but they do have more pigment. They show more in the skin. While these new ones, the liquid version, they are more sheer, more like for perhaps every day if you have dry skin not that i feel that these um you're not going to be able to use it if you have oily skin um, because these are not oily and that's something that i really like because i find out that the foundation it feels oily in a good way because it does have a lot of escolane more than pigment so that's why i like to use it very lightly and sheer sheer very sheer like because otherwise it's just a little too much for me although i do have dry skin sensitive skin mature skin 
So all of those things, but yeah, these in a specific, I feel they like dialed it down on the Esquilane. Therefore, they don't look greasy and they look very natural and beautiful. And yes, it does give that sheer but natural glow. I have healthier skin. I really love to use Body Soleil. I'm very impressed because it truly did bronze my face in a beautiful, beautiful way. In terms of Peau de Rose, I really like it as a primer, like a solo primer. It kind of um, is not equal. I feel that the Chantecaille Rose Face Tint is more perfecting. Um, definitely I feel that way and more, even more correcting than these ones. But it gave me a light finish. But again, to me, the one from Chantecaille is a lot more correcting, more perfecting. I don't know, just they, it's just a different different story. If you try them, if you feel them on your face, you will understand what I'm saying. But going back again to the Westman Atelier, I really like Peau de Rose alone. It looks just so gorgeous. And I actually like them even more mixed with a foundation more than a primer. More than a primer because it shows even more. It's just mixing with the foundation beautifully without disrupting the foundation. And as a subtle glow, it's very pretty. It's super pretty. It's kind of like a luminizer. It's like a touch of like wet skin. Basically, that's how it looks. Now, you may be wondering, will the hair stick just a little? Look at that. Not the whole thing. Like, okay. Not like a gloss, you know, because it's not thick. The consistency is super, super lightweight. It feels that it's nourishing on the skin. It feels beautiful on the skin. So to me, these products are very interesting. It, they are unique. If I have to compare it to other ones, perhaps the Victoria Beckham Beauty Primer, it could be a very close in comparing these ones versus the one from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Another one, if you're thinking about Auric by Samantha Ravendel, those, they do have more pigment. These ones, they are just so natural and they are so pretty. Do you need all of them? I don't think nobody needs all of them. It depends on what you're going to use them for, whether for primer, to mixing with your foundation, like the drops from Drunk Elephant. Um, I think obviously if you want something along those lines, then go with Peau de Soleil, if you want to use it as a primer or just solo, then pick and choose. If you want it as a, a spot highlighter, depending on your skin tone, I mean, pick and choose, particularly me, if I was to, okay, I just want to use it as, you know, a subtle glow, then I will go for Peau de Peche. I mean, you pick and choose, they are all beautiful. The difference are very, very subtle, as you can tell but they do the job and they do the job beautifully. I mean, like I was able to skip bronzer and I still have a bronze look with Peau de Soleil, which is something that I'm not able to achieve with this cream. This cream one doesn't give me a bronze look because it does have a lot of gold in it. And you can even see it. I'm mean, like, if you are here in person, you will see it in the swatch. It does have a lot more gold. Well, the other one has a little bit more of like gold but with copper tone so anyhow my friends i know this video is becoming so long because these are products that you can um explain it's hard to explain but at the same time they are valid there there is a reason for them i like it and like i said they are not oily which that leads me to say i will let you know how they last how long wearing they are if it disrupt my foundation throughout the day it's summertime so this is the perfect time to try them but so far i feel like they are just working really well with the dior foundation and i cannot wait to really see how it works with other foundations on my collection my collection is very vast so i have a lot of foundations that i'm so excited to try them with so very excited for this product and if you want something like a very no makeup makeup kind of look very natural but still with some just and glow i mean these are great and i'm sure you can wear them also on your shoulders and whatnot so anyhow my friends this makes it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it that you find it helpful informative i would love to hear from you are you excited and ready to try this new westman atelier 
liquid super loaded highlighters let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye